Hey guys, what is up? My name is Nixium, and most likely you guys have heard about the pre-TBC pre-patch. That's right. Blood Elves and Draenei and all the preparation needed for our adventure into Outland. And honestly, dude, it's been freaking great. I like, dude, I've been playing so much WoW over the past like few days. I, I ultimately decided to play a, a Blood Elf Hunter. I know that I said in my last video that I might do a Warlock or maybe a Mage or something or whatever I said. I don't even remember what I said. But I decided to go with a Blood Elf Hunter and I have just been no lifing uh, you know, this pre-patch like over on Twitch in my free time. It's It's been... It's been a lot of fun. It's been great. But unfortunately, with this, you know, pre-TBC, you know, patch, uh, there's been a little bit of controversy around it. Uh, there's been a lot more pros than cons, in my opinion. Um, however, what I want to do with this video is I want to offer Blizzard a quick little bit of healthy feedback, I think. I would like to hear your guys' opinions on what I have to say. And um, let's just geek out, you know, a little bit about, you know, TBC and Blood Elves and Draenei. Like, any, any Draenei in the chat? Any Blood Elves? Like, come on, man. Fellow Sindori. Like, come on, guys. Leave a comment down below. But before we get into all that, got to thank the sponsor. And so uh, let's thank the sponsor. This video was sponsored by the sensual, sexy, succulent, delicious Twitch stream that is twitch.tv forward slash Nixium. Come watch me sometimes. Thanks. All right, back to the video. I want to start this video on a positive note by saying that, you know, for me back in the day, TBC was sort of like um, the, the, the true beginning of my World of Warcraft, like, love. In Classic WoW, when I played back in the day, like, I really loved WoW. I loved the world and everything, but I didn't really know anything about World of Warcraft. You know, during the events of TBC, this is when I played Warcraft 3 for the first time. I understood the lore of the world at last. I learned who the Lich King was. I learned about the Burning Legion and stuff. In TBC, that's when I saw my first ever machinima, and I made my first ever machinima. Uh, like, it's when I started reading the WoW books and stuff, back when I used to be a dirty role player, and, like, that time sort of turned me into one. Like, TBC was, like, the beginning of my golden age of World of Warcraft, and so being able to play this pre-patch, even though we haven't even taken one step through the Dark Portal yet, has just brought back, you know, so many feelings of nostalgia and just joy for me, and that's probably why I have put such a ludicrous amount of time uh, into the pre-patch since it came out. Um, it is unfortunate uh, that so much that, that there there is so much negativity uh, around this pre patch. I feel um, there have been uh, numerous content creators and streamers who have come out and have really blasted Blizzard um, for you know this pre patch and the changes that Blizzard has been making to the TBC formula with this pre-patch. Uh, I myself am included in this, I, although I don't feel like I've blasted Blizzard. Um, I think some other people have been a lot more heated uh, than I am, or that I have been. I've just been kind of like, hey, this got dumb, you shouldn't do this. Um, and uh, I want to kind of continue those talks uh, with this video. But before we get into that, I, you know, I just want to kind of conclude, you know, my, my positive note by saying that, um, that the, the pre-patch has been great for me so far, you know, doing dungeons with people, questing in the open world, streaming, like, you know, just me leveling Andoriel, you know, the blood elf hunter, the proud ranger of the Cinderai. Like, it's been just an absolute pleasure, and uh, I've had a ton of fun. Like, this is honestly the most fun I've had playing WoW in a while, and I'm just leveling a stupid blood elf. Um... And uh, I don't really even know why it's been so much fun for me, but it's just been it's just been great. Um, so thank you to Blizzard for you know for doing this, like <laughs> for making this possible, I suppose. Um, yeah. One thing that I did want to talk about, however, I, I don't really want to talk about the little specific things. I want to talk about something a little bit more broad and a little bit more important, and that is that um, I sort of have this vibe from Blizzard that Blizzard is treating Classic WoW and TBC almost like it's the modern game. And I did this really big rant over on Twitch about this, uh, but it, it sort of surprises me sometimes how 
Blizzard does not seem to understand the classic community. They sort of understand, but they don't. Um, and uh, like, I, I just want to say something like genuinely from the heart, and this is not to uh, insult or to offend anybody, um, but like. The reason why so many people play Classic, the reason why so many people play this older version of WoW and they're going to play TBC and they're going to play Wrath of the Lich King is Blizzard. Like, these people genuinely think that this version of your game is better than your current version. Now, you are free to disagree with that as much as you want in the comment section. You can talk about the one-button rotation in Classic. You can talk about the grindiness. You can talk about whatever. But for a lot of people, myself included, all that crap, like all the pros and all the cons, are what make the game special and make it memorable and make it fun and engaging. Um, you might think that feeding your hunter pet to keep it happy is annoying. Me, I think it helps me get more into the role play of playing a hunter, taming pets, teaching them new abilities, going out and getting food for them from the butcher in Orgrimmar. Why else, like, when's the last time you went to the butcher in Orgrimmar specifically? Like, oh, where's the butcher at? I went there this morning. I was looking for the butcher so I could buy meat to feed my cat. Okay, like even the butcher NPC has relevance to me. Like. Or it has a it has a purpose, you know, in my mind. It's not just some random dumb NPC, and that's really cool. The point is, though, is that I I think that Blizzard is looking at the you know the classic game, and they're sort of treating it like it's the modern game, and they don't really see a big deal with making changes uh, to the older version of the game. They don't see a big deal with uh, adding mounts or adding boosts or you know, adding, uh, you know, cross-realm tech or something. It's like Blizzard is sort of convinced in their mind that like, oh, let's, let's uh, give them the older version of the game, but let's also give them some of the unique quality of life perks that we added to the game later on, and that will make the old game better. And again, you know, speaking from the heart here, and I'm just speaking for myself, I'm not speaking for anybody else. It's just me, just one person with one opinion among millions. Like, uh, no, this stuff does not make the game better. Uh, in fact, in many ways, it makes it worse, uh, tremendously worse. If nothing else, it makes it not what you are promising to deliver when you say that you are trying to make an authentic classic WoW experience or TBC experience. You are lying when you say that because if that was true, you wouldn't have cross-realm grouping. You wouldn't have cross-realm communication. You wouldn't be putting new mounts into the game. You wouldn't be offering people boosts. You would be giving them exactly what the game was back in the day pros and cons and all and also even though even the thing that you can get a mount at level 30 that was a thing at the end of tbc that you could get a mount at 30 not at the very beginning so all these people running around with mounts at level 30 this is not genuine to tbc we should not be seeing that for a very long time and that is disappointing now i know that there's a lot of people out there that are going to say, you know, what's the big deal? What's the big deal? It's not hurting anybody, blah, blah, blah. That is the same logic that has put World of Warcraft in a position where more people play the old ass version of the game compared to the new version of the game. And there is more hype surrounding the re-release of an expansion that's 12 freaking years old or however old TBC is at this point than there is for like, you know, Shadowlands coming out or whatever the hell the next expansion is going to be. All right, I'm like, I'm sorry, but that's the truth. Like, that's just the way it is. There's more fucking content coming out on YouTube and more threads coming out about TBC and TBC hype and more streams about TBC and shit than all the crap that's surrounding Shadowlands and right now. The only thing you really see nowadays around Shadowlands is PvP and people being angry at Torghast. That's pretty much it. People are hyped for TBC for a reason, okay? You know, I, and I, I feel like I'm sort of a broken record at this point. And because, 
you know, the, the past two videos that I've made have been me talking about, you know, just this, like this topic um, and offering these criticisms. I mean, my, my first video, I was saying like, oh, hey, you know, Blizzard, you're offering boosts and whatnot. And that's not really uh, that that's not really like, you know, keeping to your original vision of recreating the experience back in the day. I mean, some of my friends in real life started in TBC, and guess what? They leveled up to 70, and, you know, now you're just letting people skip it for money. Like, all right. But then you say that, you know, oh, the level up experience is so important. Apparently not. Not to you. All right. Um, and then it's like, okay, you know, boosties, you know, stupid, you know, new quest line, whatever. Not a big deal. And then, oh, maybe they're going to put a mountain. Like, it, it was kind of, you know, data mined, but we weren't really sure. And then I made another video, like, just a little while later. It's like, okay, well, apparently we're getting a new mount as well. And you get the whole boost thing. You get the other perks and whatnot. And then you got the character cloning, you know, whole controversy, which Blizzard lowered it down to $15, which is, you know, whatever, $15, I guess. Like, it's not a big deal. You know, now, you know, they have the whole thing where, okay, well, we're also going to make it so that you can get a mount, you know, at level 30 right at the beginning of TBC. They had that whole bullshit where they were like, you know, like allowing people to, you know, group up cross realm and uh, Blizzard said this was a bug and that it was fixed. Um, I have not tried to group up with someone cross realm since they fixed the bug. I did beforehand, though, uh, but I do know that you can still cross whisper people or cross realm whisper people and communicate with them because people were doing that to me on stream just yesterday. So unless Blizzard fixed it, you know, like this morning or something or in, you know, the time since I last played, which wasn't that long ago. But then again, I wasn't testing it last time I played. Um, that's still a thing. And so um, I don't know if this is genuinely a bug or if Blizzard is testing the waters as they tend to do. But uh, I guess my criticism is just Blizzard, you know, don't um, don't don't tell people like on your website that you're committed to like, you know, bringing us you know, classic WoW and bringing us back to, you know, the old days of WoW for us to genuinely experience them again, you know, bugs and pros and cons and all, if that's not what you're doing. I mean, don't try to sell me gasoline if all you're offering is water from a hose. I mean, like, don't bullshit your community, Blizzard. You know, people see straight through that. People see straight through your nonsense. And so, I mean, here are my thoughts. Like, I I'm having a great time with the pre-patch. I'm having a fantastic time, you know, leveling the Blood Elf. I'm having a great time, you know, playing with the stream community, meeting people, dicking around, getting ganked, ganking people, whatever. It's been a lot of fun. But, um, yeah, I mean, uh, Bl like, Blizzard, don't underestimate just how much fun your old game was. You know, there's something special about it. There's a reason why, you know, all those years ago, Nostalrius was taking off. You know, there, there's a reason why so many people went and played Classic WoW and got hooked on it. And you didn't offer a goddamn thing with Classic WoW. You offered a Ragnaros statue and like a mount on retail. And people were fine with that. No one said, oh, well, where's our, our cool custom made Classic mount? No one said that. Not to my understanding. So I didn't, I certainly didn't see it. So these, these are just my opinions though. These are just my views as one player. I'd be very interested to hear what you guys have to say down in the comment section below. I'm just trying to start a dialogue as a fan of the old game, um, as a fan of World of Warcraft. Uh, not trying to shit on Blizzard, not trying to shit on anybody. I'm just, you know, this is my perspective. And um, overall at the end of the day, I mean, I'm, I'm having a great time. And, I mean, I can't say that enough, man. I'm going to finish recording this and edit this video real freaking fast. I'm going back to playing the goddamn game. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm going right back to playing <laughs> right after this. So, um, but just, uh, just be careful, Blizzard. I mean, and uh, have confidence in your product. You, you have a good product um, with, you know, Classic and TBC and Wrath. Like, you've got a very, very good, lovable, great product that took you to the top of the market back in the day or back in the day. And putting changes to these products that, you know, are so beloved um, is not the right path, in my opinion. Uh, I understand that you guys are trying to make money. And I, I understand as well. This is my last point, and then I'll shut up, I promise. 
I understand, Blizzard, that you lost a lot of your player base. Like, over the last uh, year or quarter, whatever that article was that came out, like, Blizzard is down, like, 30% of their player base across all their games is gone. And I understand that you're looking for a quick way to make money, all right? Like, a quick way to recover from losses. Um, now, I also understand that your profits are up, according to the article, and I understand that you just want to keep increasing that before you lose another 30% of your community. Um, but... I don't think that making changes to one of your original giant cash cows uh, is the right way to go if you want to retain what community you have left. But maybe we can talk about that more in a later video. I don't know. Those are my thoughts. Um, thank you all for listening or watching. I don't know why you would watch. There's really nothing to watch. <laughs> but... Uh, Hope you guys are enjoying the pre-patch. Let's see what Blizzard does. Um, either way, enjoy leveling those Blood Elves. Enjoy leveling those Draenei. Uh, and yeah, guys. I will see you all in the world of Outland. That's right.